November 12, 1815. American activist Elizabeth Cady Stanton was born. She was a leader in the women's rights movement and in the 1848 formulated the first organized demand for women's suffrage in the United States. 1833, the Great Linoid Media Shower, in which hundreds of thousands of meteors were observed in one night, was seen all over North America. This initiated the first serious study of meteor showers. 1859, the first Flying Trapeze Act was performed by Jules Leotard without a net in Paris. A one-piece garment which he wore was popularized and eventually named after him. 1880, the best-selling American novel Ben-Hur, A Tale of the Christ, written by soldier Lou Wallace, is first published. 1890, Mabel Loomis Todd publishes the first edition of Poems by Emily Dickinson. 1931, Abbey Road Studios opened in London and was later made famous by the Beatles, who recorded most of their albums there. 1933, saw the first NFL football game played on a Sunday at Philadelphia's Baker Bowl. Up until this point, sporting events on Sunday had been illegal. The Eagles tied the Chicago Bears with a score of 3-3. Three to three. 1946, Walt Disney's Song of the South is released. Song of the South is a collection of Uncle Remus tales as adapted by Joel Chandler Harris, but the film is not without controversy surrounding its portrayal of plantation life in the South. It is not currently available in the United States. The film's rendition of Zippity Doodah won the 1948 Academy Award for Best Original Song. 1954, the Immigration Reception Center at Ellis Island, New York, which had processed more than 12 million immigrants since its doors opened in 1892, was closed and moved to a new location. 1966, Bud Aldrin takes the first space selfie, a photo of himself performing extravehicular activity in space during the Gemini program. 1980, the U.S. space probe Voyager 1 reached the planet Saturn. 1990, the World Wide Web is first proposed by computer scientists Tim Berners-Lee and Robert Kaluf. Lee would eventually build the world's first website in 1991, creating a page titled World Wide Web, featuring links to additional pages with information on himself, his team of scientists, and the history of the product. It is these links which represented the web's real breakthrough. The website's landing page described the World Wide Web as a wide area hypermedia information retrieval initiative aiming to give universal access to a large universe of documents. Today, we just know it as the web. 1991, US TV series Full House airs its 100th episode. Uncle Jesse and Aunt Becky, along with everyone else, rejoice as the twins are born. 2011, as Italy struggled amid the Eurozone debt crisis, Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi submitted his letter of resignation. Four days later, he was succeeded by Mario Monti. 2018, American comic book writer Stan Lee, who helped create such iconic characters and teams as the Fantastic Four, Spider-Man, The Avengers, and the X-Men for Marvel Comics, dies at the age of 95. 2019, Disney launches its film and television streaming service, Disney Plus, and the space western TV series set in the Star Wars franchise, The Mandalorian, is released. These are just a few of the things that have happened today, November 12th in history. This has been Mr. Scott with Today in History. Thanks for watching.